Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to Mass today. Uh, yesterday, in the early hours of the morning, someone I've been caring for, pastorally and sacramentally, passed away. Her name was Shirley Cheevers. Yesterday also we heard of the death of a dear friend of uh, members of the congregation at St John's Clevedon, Keith, who has been struggling with cancer. And Fiona and Nick are on their way to Norfolk today to seek to support Jill, his widow, and the family. Uh, tomorrow I should be on my way to seek to support the family of Shirley Cheevers. So this is the first opportunity I have uh, to celebrate a Requiem Mass for Shirley and we remember Keith too. You might like to call to mind those whom you love but see no longer. And of course all of us are conscious of those who have lost their lives through the coronavirus. We do this not in some kind of uh, uh, morbid uh, indulgence, but we celebrate the Requiem Mass because we are people of hope. Because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we believe that God's gift to us is a gift of eternal life, a promise to be with him forever, to reflect back to God that wonder and beauty and compassion and love God is within himself. And so whilst bereavement and loss are such powerful realities, we can be people of hope. So let us commend Shirley and Keith to the loving mercy of God, praying for the repose of their souls and asking forgiveness for our sins, for our shortcomings, for our negligences as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, his, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servants, Shirley and Keith, whom you have called to journey to you, and since they hoped and believed in you, grant that they may be led to their true homeland, to delight in its everlasting joys, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain he will remove the mourning veil covering all nations and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death for ever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek he will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff, with these you give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for ever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I shall not turn him away, because I have come from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of the one who sent me. Now, the will of the one who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. Yes, it is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise him up on the last day. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. With humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God, as we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servants Shirley and Keith, we beseech your mercy that they who did not doubt your Son to be a loving Saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory, and with him, called back into life and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Jonathan, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Shirley and Keith, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, St John our Patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory belong to you, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Corpus Christi, the custodia to meet him. Let perpetual light shine upon them with your saints for ever, for you are merciful. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them with your saints for ever, for you are merciful.
Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Shirley, our brother Keith, may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, our Lord Jesus Christ. O clement, O sweet, O pure Virgin Mary, pray for us. Most Holy Mother of God, may Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.